M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Kenwood D75. Today we've turned on HSDR software where you, you normally use a dongle, you connect it to your PC and then it, with the right configuration you've, you've got this lovely waterfall. Now Don asked me would that work with the D75 and I think yes. There is a USB out here, you can see the cable connected. I haven't even thought about trying it via the Bluetooth out. Uh, so if we just go to men menu here, and let's go menu, and then across until we get to settings, press, and then go down until you see you want to find it interface. Okay, there's interface enter and then usb function at the top select and it can be a mass it can basically talk to the sd card that's in your device or if out press enter now you would normally use that with the software that ken would provide where it and they've got very good software i wouldn't say it's got a waterfall but it's got a signal meter and you can completely control the radio including you know changing the frequency, everything. But maybe you can do this with HSDR. Um, but at the moment, I've literally just plugged the USB-C, plugged it into my software, turned on my software. Haven't even changed any settings. Listen to this. Someone calling in there. Now, ignore this frequency. It's using the frequency on the radio. So you can see it's picking up no problem. Anything on the radio. If I come out of D Star and go to 70 SEMS, if someone speaks on my node, which I think I can activate, I just just quickly do go to the audio test here. So we'll disconnect all. That's it going into audio test mode. And then go like so. And I can actually talk in through the radio. Now. Listen to your audio online. Right, I'll just do that again because I know I don't think you heard that. So back to the hubnet test. H-U-B-N. Welcome to the hubnet audio test server. Please visit hubnetwork.uk forward slash parrot to listen to your audio online. And then if we want, we can go to the, we can do dual band as well. Yeah. And now we're listening to HF and analog or digital. It's a dual receive device. And within the Kenwood D75, within the Kenwood D75, you can actually set the, the level, whether you're going to hear 
the the digital or the A or the B, you can set that. But for now. Okay. Okay. And uh I will log you in my logbook and uh And remember all I've done is connect a USB cable. I'm gonna try this one. I've got one of those quantum SDRs here. And I'm gonna plug it into that in a minute and see if it does the same thing. I've got a feeling it will. But if someone knows how to use OmniRig, it's almost the same thing. I spent 20, uh, 24 years in the. Let's go back to HF. You're now hearing HF. Okay, well, let's see if we can just find a stronger station. Some are quite strong on 7143. So we're going to tune into 7143. And press the F, then the star, and then you can fine tune. Some, there is someone there, it's not strong. Not the strongest signal, but the main point here is that it's almost like a speaker out, but with, but HSDR will pick it up. Sound card here, you can see, I'm just, if you click sound card, you can see it's just default settings. I haven't changed anything. Now you have, you can stop it as well, just by pressing the stop button here, start. Now remember, if you go into options and I, I someone show me how to do this, I'll do it. You can go cat, to Omni Rig. Now I've gone into setup, and um, if we look here, I can't actually find anything for the Kenwood D seventy five in rig, in the rig section. So someone tell me if they know what it would be for the D seventy five. So that's using Omni Rig, and so there's an option there. Let me just fire up Omni O M N I. And I know it's COM17 because the cable, if I go right click on my device manager and go, da, da, da. there it is there, 17. And I've set the board rate at 19200 just for the sake of it, really. So if we look at o Omni Rig, I have set 19200. Uh, like so, and it's someone's going to be watching this going, do this, do that, and that's the person I want. So if I click start, because ultimately the goal is to sync tuning these, because you can tune here, tuning the radio, and the radio changing with it, which it's not doing. Back to D star. We also uh, have a website, it's the chat room at hfestar.com. So yeah, thanks to Tom for messaging me. I know there's more to this. Look at it as video number one learning. On that chat room, and we use the chat room during the net along But just this alone is interesting, isn't it? I mean, you've got the 75s and you can do this. And I, I will try, because all you do when you say when you say that the USB out is Bluetooth, it just gives you a Bluetooth COM port. If it's easy, I'll do it now. So, I'm just noticing that when you go menu, set, and you go to interface, you only get the choice of IF out or mass storage. 
if you go to PC out, it's giving you choices of APRS and GPS, where you can select Bluetooth, KISS, DVDR, DV Gateway. It's not really seen. I don't see that it's giving me PC out. We're back to HF now. Let's have a quick tune on HF. 